Hello, Chris Green here with the Flood Insurance Guru. And you might ask, why do I have a wig on today? Well, today we're talking about wigs, pigs, and flooded properties. You see these properties right here behind me? Now you may not be able to see some of these houses, but these houses flood repeatedly. But what happens when you fix these houses up? You, know, you put in brand new sheetrock, you put in brand new floors, and you put it on the market to sell. You might not be able to know that it's a flooded property. But if you've ever heard the saying, that you put lipstick on a pig at the end of the day, it's still a pig. Well, you fix up a flooded property at the end of the day, it's still a flooded property. So what does this mean? Well, it means the chances of it flooding again are very high. So what can you do to protect yourself? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. But remember, if you've got questions about flood education, flood insurance, and flood zone changes, make sure to visit our website, floodinsuranceguru.com. You can also check out our YouTube channel where we post these daily flood education videos or even our podcast on iHeartRadio, Spotify, and iTunes. So let's talk about this today. What can you do? And one of the biggest things we recommend is that you get a list of flood claims from the National Flood Insurance Program or FEMA. How do you do this? Well, because of privacy laws, the only people that can get it are the current homeowner. So what we recommend is during that due diligence period, that you have a list of that from the current homeowner. You know, this is gonna help you because we've seen it where someone doesn't have this list. They close on the house, their property floods. Come to find out the property had flooded five times before or someone told them, hey, it only had an inch of water in there. It actually had six inches of water in there. So these are some things you can do to protect yourself. So what about on the private market? Now, on the private side, it's more difficult because all these different companies don't generally report to a central database like FEMA or the National Flood Insurance Program does. But this is one thing we recommend doing when purchasing a house is making sure you get a list of, of those flood claims if there have been any. There may have not been any. So this is something to take a look at to help protect yourself from your property flooding again in the future. So remember, if you've got questions when it comes to flood education, flood zone changes, flood insurance, or even elevation certificates, visit our website, floodinsuranceguru.com. Remember, we have an educational background, flood mitigation, which means we can help you understand flood risk like this right here. Your flood insurance and mitigating your property long-term. Thank you.